Hello and welcome everyone. On behalf of Test Reading Club, I once again welcome you all to the world of poetry. This week we are reading the poems of one of the famous confessional poetess, Sylvia Plath. Test Reading Club is an initiative under the guidance of Kalyani Ma'am and presented by the students of TESS to promote the reading of poetry so that we get first-hand information about the poems, their poets, and its insight as well. So, I hope you all enjoy the session. Over to you, Khalid, for Mirror. I'm a silver and exact. I have no preconceptions. Whatever I see, I swallow immediately, just as it is, unmisted by love or dislike. I'm not cruel, only truthful. The eye of the little god four cornered. Most of the time, I meditate on the opposite wall. It's pink with speckles. I have love. I have looked at it so long. I think it's part of my heart, but it flickers. Faces in darkness separates us over and over. Now I'm a lake, a woman bends toward me, searching my reach for what she really is. Then she turns to those liars, the candles or the moon. I see her back and reflect it faithfully. She rewards me with tears and agitation of hands. I'm important to her, she comes and goes. Each morning, it's her face that replaces the darkness. In me, she has drowned a young girl, and in me, an old woman. Rises towards her day after day, like a terrible fish. Daddy, read by Chitra. You do not do, you do not do any more black shoe in which I have lived like a fruit for 30 years. Poor and white, barely daring to breathe or haku. Daddy, I have had to kill you. You died before I had time. Marble heavy, a bag full of God, ghastly statue with one great toe, big as a Frisco seal. And a head in the freakish Atlantic where it pours bean green over blue. In the waters of beautiful Noshet, I used to pray to recover you. Hach, do. In the German tongue, in the Polish town, scraped flat by the roller of wars, wars, wars. But the, same, but the name of the town is common. My Polak friend says there are a dozen or two. So I never could tell where you put your foot, your root. I never could talk to you. The tongue stuck in my jaw. I stuck in a bar wire snare. Ich, 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 ich. I could hardly speak. I thought every German was you and the language of scene and engine and engine chuffing me off like a Jew. A Jew to Dachau, Auschwitz, Belsen. I began to talk like a Jew. I think I may well be a Jew. The snows of the Tyrol, the clear beer of Vienna, are not very pure or true. With my gypsy ancestress and my weird luck and my tarot pack and my tarot pack, I may be a bit of a Jew. I have always been scared of you with your laugh raff, your gobble de goo, and your neat moustache and your Aryan eye, black, bright, blue. Panzerman, Panzerman, oh you. Not God, but a swastika, so black no sky could squeak through. Every woman adores the fascist, the boot in the face, the brute, brute heart of a brute like you. You stand at the blackboard, daddy, in the picture I have of you, a cleft in your chin instead of your foot. But no less a devil for that, no not. Any less the black man who bit my pretty red heart in two. I was 10 when they buried you. At 20, I tried to die. 
and get back, back, back to you. I thought even the bones would do, but they pulled me out of the sack and they stuck me together with glue. And then I knew what to do. I made a model of you, a man in black with a main camp look and a love of the rack and the screw. And I said, I do, I do. So daddy, I'm finally through. The black telephones off at the root. The voices just can't worm through. If I have killed one man, I have killed two. The vampire who said he was you and drank my blood for a year, seven years, if you want to know. Daddy, you can lie back now. There's a stake in your fat black heart and the villagers never liked you. They are dancing and stamping on you. They always knew it was you. Daddy, daddy, you bastard, I am through. Lady Lazarus by Anjali. I have done it again. One year in every ten, I manage it. A sort of walking miracle, my skin bright as a Naji lampshade, my right foot a paperweight, my face a featureless fine jewel linen, peel off the napkin, oh my enemy, do I terrify? The nose, the eye beads, the full set of teeth. The sore breath will vanish in a day. Soon, soon the flesh, the grave cave, it will be at home on me. And I, a smiling woman, I'm only 30. And like the cat, I have nine times to die. This is number three. What a thrash to annihilate each decade. What a million filaments the peanut crunching crowd shows into sea, then unwrap me hand and foot. The big stiff teeth, gentlemen, ladies, these are my hands, my knees. I may be skin and bone, nevertheless, I am the same identical woman. The first time it happened, I was ten. It was an accident. The second time I meant to the last it out and not come back at all. I rocked shut as a seashell. They had to call and call and pick the worms of me like sticky paws. Dying is an art. Like everything else, I do it exceptionally well. I do it so it feels like hell. I do it so it feels real. I guess you could say I have a call. It's easy enough to do it in a cell. It's easy enough to do it and stay put. It's the theatrical. Come back in broad day to the same place, the same pace, and the same brute amidst shout. A miracle that knocks me out. There is a charge. For the eyeing of my scars, there is a charge. For the hearing of my heart, it really goes. And there is a charge, a very large charge, for a word or a touch or a bit of blood or a piece of my hair or my clothes. So, so, air doctor, so, air enemy, I am your opus, I am your valuable, the pure gold baby that melts to a shriek. I turn and burn. Do not think I under, underestimate your great concern. Ash, ash, you poke and star, flesh, bone, there is nothing there. A cake of soap, a wedding ring, a gold filling. Air God, air Lucifer, beware, beware. Out of the ash, I rise with my red hair and eat men like air. The Munich Mannequins by Sabita Sinha. Perfection is terrible. It cannot have children. Cold as snow, breath, it tamps the womb. 
where the yew trees blow like hydras. The tree of life and the tree of life and losing their moons month after month to no purpose. The blood flood is the flood of love, the absolute sacrifice. It means no more idols, but me, me and you. So in their sulfur loveliness, in their smiles, these mannequins lean tonight in Munich, morphed between Paris and Rome. Naked and bald in their furs, orange lowlies on silver sticks, intolerable without mind. The snow drops its pieces of darkness. Nobody's about. In the hotels, hands will be opening doors and setting down shoes for a polish of carbon into which broad toes will go tomorrow. Oh, the domesticity of these windows, the baby lace, the green leaved confectionery, the thick Germans slumbering in their bottomless soles, and the black phones on hooks, glittering, glittering, and digesting voicelessness. The snow has no voice. Thing. Winter dawn is the color of metal. The tree just stiffen into place like burnt nerves. All night I have dreamed of destruction, annihilations, an assembly line of cutthroats, and you and I, inching off in the great Chevrolet, drink, drinking the green poison of a stilled lawns, the little clapboard gravestones, noiseless on rubber wheels on the way to the sea resort. How the balconies echoed, how the sun lit up, the skulls, the unbuckled bones, facing the view, space, space, the bed linen was giving out entirely. Cot legs melted in terrible attitudes, and the nurses, each nurse passed her soul to a wound and disappeared. The deathly guests had not been satisfied with the rooms or the smiles or the beautiful rubber plants or the sea, hussing their pill saints like old mother mafia. Mad Girl's Love Song by Shushmita. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I lift my lids and all is born again. I think I made you up inside my head. The stars go waltzing out in blue and red and our bitter blackness gallops in. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I dream that you betwitched me into bed and sung me moonstruck, kissed me quite insane. I think I made you up inside my head. God topples from the sky. Hell's fires fade. Exit Seraphim and Satan's men. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I fancied you return the way you said. But I grow old and I forget your name. I think I made you up inside my head. I should have loved a thunder bird instead. At least when spring comes, they roar back again. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I think I made you up inside my head. The moon and the yew tree. This is the light of the mind, gold and palantry. The trees of the mind are black. The light is blue. The grasses unload their griefs at my feet as if I were God, prickling my ankles and murmuring of their humility. Few spirituous mist inhabit this place, separated from my house by a row of headstones. I simply cannot see where there is to get to. The moon is no door. It is a face in its own right. White as nickel and terribly upset. It drags the sea after it like a dark crime. 
it is quiet with the o gap of complete despair i leave here twice on sunday the bell startles the sky eight great tongues affirming the resurrection at the end they soberly bong out their names the yew tree points up it has a gothic shape the eyes lift after it and find the moon the moon is my mother she is not so it like mary her blue garments are loose small beds and all hi i would like to believe in tenderness the face of the effigy gentled by candles bending on me in particular its smiled eyes i have fallen a long way clouds are flowering blue and mystical over the face of the stars inside the church the saints will be all blue floating on their delicate feet over cold pews the hand and faces stiff with holiness the moon sees nothing of this she is bald and wild and the message of the yew tree is blackness blackness and silence you are cloud like happiest on your hands feet to the stars the moon's call gill like a fish a common sense thumbs down on the dodo's moon trapped up in yourself like a spool trailing your dark as always to mute as a turnip from 4th of july to all fools day oh high riser my little one ready as fog you look for like me father of the australia bent back at this I travel to snug as a bird and at home like a sprat in a pickle jar a creel of eels or ripples jumping as mexican wind right like a well done song a clean slate is your own face on thank you readers and thank you tess for this opportunity thank you thank you readers for all of your participation and i thank tess for this opportunity thank you all